Hey folks, here's an update on my PiAware video. Right now, uh, my setup is tracking 48 aircraft with 37 positions. And it looks like the center ring is 100 miles, 100 nautical miles, and it looks like I have a few out there. What I did is I added another inch and a quarter extension pole, and I'll show you what I did. Well, this is the southernmost command post of the Hughes Compact Southern Command. It's the launch head. And if you can see where the black line is in the middle, oh yeah, my finger's big compared to that, in the middle there. Uh, that's where I put a coupler, and so I extended the height of the antenna. So now it's about 30 feet above ground level. I think that's about 70 feet above sea level. Uh, there's almost no wind, but I definitely need some guy wires on that uh, to stabilize it. When I added the extension, right right there, that black thing is the Wi-Fi antenna for the Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi 2. What I did is uh, somehow I messed it up and I threw another antenna right there. And since the metal overlaps, it, it was pretty easy just to stick it down. I got a cheapy antenna and I want to explain one more thing about that antenna. Uh, the pool area is screened in, but somewhere, I right, stick the finger out further. Right about here, there's just some plywood wall, a uh, vertical wall, and that's where I have an access point. And I wasn't getting good reception with that antenna. I was getting better reception with the antenna in the pole, but since I probably have to disassemble it and ordering an $8 antenna from Amazon was easy, I did that. But what I, I was getting very bad, um, packets, you know, my pings were very long and they would drop. So what I did, that antenna is uh, 80211 BGN. I changed my access point, remotely of course, which is up there, to G only. And the big deal about that is G is a lower frequency. And the uh, G will penetrate obstacles more easily. Whereas the higher frequencies like N in AC, N is 2.4 and AC is 5.8, any kind of obstruction they hit, they will not penetrate, they'll bounce off. So a little bit of RF knowledge, not like I'm a ham guy, I know a lot about this stuff, but I know a little bit. Uh, a little bit of knowledge does go a long way and will fix your problems. So I thought I was gonna have to get another antenna or put it up on the pole and I just dropped it down to G. Uh, what I'd like to be able to do, the real solution would be to change the Pi, the Pi to G only. And then I can put my access point back to, you know, N. I don't think it's an AC access point, so I can put it back to N then.